Hi, I'm Joe with Rogue Fabrication. Today we're going to make an S-Bend, which looks a little bit like this, out of a piece of inch and three quarter by 120 DOM. While S-Bends are seldom needed to complete an automotive project, they do give it that really fine fit and finish appearance. We're going to bend with the first clamp block. It's going to put a bend right about here. We're going to bend it about 28 degrees gross. This is a six inch radius die. We're bending on the six inch CLR clamp die hole. So the correct way to do it, the normal way. brand new die they're a little sticky so there is two clamp blocks on here put on at the same time so that the bends are exactly in the same plane it's a little trick if you have two clamp blocks you can use so I'm gonna pull one of them off now because we don't need them to both be there so now we're gonna do the second bend we're gonna do it in the opposite direction I've got this clamp block upside down the six inch CLR die is the biggest one that goes in the machine and if you're doing S bends you can't do them both uh, with a six inch CLR location. So we're gonna use the four and a half now, which has about a six and a half inch bend offset. It's the distance from the front face of the clamp block to the start of the bend. Because we changed that, we have to re-zero our degree indicator, so that pin's tight now. I'm gonna put this back on zero. And that is our S bend. So we bent the first bend, this bend, to about 28 degrees, and this one to about 25. We get about three and a half degrees of spring back at uh, that kind of bend angle on inch and three quarter 120. And uh, the first bend you make does on bend slightly when you make the second because it rolls right over the pressure roller die in the machine as you're bending. And so that's why I over bent it by about three degrees. So S bending does take some experimentation, but uh, they really do add a unique dimension to all of your tube work and it is one of the capacities of the Rogue Fab Model 600 that really sets it apart from the competition. There's very few benders out there that can do this, and the ones that do have a much higher price tag. For our layout, there's two things we want to figure out. How long to cut the tube, and where to put the clamp blocks. So we're going to go over the length first. Starting from the end that sticks out the machine, we've got a quarter inch past the first clamp block, which is going to go right here. Six and a half inch bend offset. Now this is for the inverted four and a half. So this is when we bend our second bend, it's going to be using the four and a half inch clamp block hole, but we're going to be upside down. So that number is not that easy to find, but it's right here. And our bend length is 25 degrees, and we're going to multiply that by 0 0.104 on our little cheat sheet we ship with every bender here. You've got 0 0.104 inches for every degree you bend on a six inch radius, so that makes 2.6 inches. And we've got one inch here, that's the straight portion between the bends, which would be right here on the physical piece. And then our second bend, uh, this is actually the one we're going to make first, 28 degrees uh, times the same number, 2.912 is the bend length. And then our tail, this is the piece that's at the end, uh, four, four and a quarter inches. So our length ends up right around 17 and a half. So uh, when we actually do the bending and do the layout, I'm going to leave 1.9 inches here. That's just an empirical number I figured out works really well. Uh, when the tubing stretches and does things when it bends, that ends up working out really well. So we're going to use that. So we're going to set the top and bottom equal to each other. Again, we've got a clamp block here. We can ignore the parts that stick out of the back end and the front end. So from the first clamp block, this is going to be for our second bend though, six and a half inch bend offset. 
And again, that's the four and a half inverted in terms of what hole we're going to use for the machine. And then bend length, that 1.9 inches, that's going to be the same length as the 5.875, which is from our cheat sheet. That's the bend offset on the bottom here for the six inch bend radius. So this one's going to be put in the 6.0 CLR bend location. And then, of course, back to complete the loop here is X. So this is probably eighth grade algebra maybe, but um, 5.875 plus X, the bottom, equals the top. Six and a half plus 2.6 plus 1.9. And then, of course, subtract 5.875 from both sides and you get X equals 5.125. So our clamp blocks from the front face to the front face are going to be five and an eighth apart. So thanks for watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, we'll keep making videos.